Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my closet organization, but before we begin, I wanted to give a little bit of a backstory. Um, this video has been in the works for a while, so I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Um, but if you are new to my channel, Matt and I moved in September of last year, and when we moved, this room became kind of like my office slash filming space, but the closet in this room, it started to turn turn into a storage closet. So I had clothes that I would get mixed in with a lot of just a random selection of stuff. And we had our Christmas tree in here. We had Christmas ornaments after the holiday season. So once the holiday season started, it got very chaotic and I didn't really have an opportunity to organize. Now I will say too, organization is not my forte. So um, I wanted to do something with this closet. I wanted to make the filming process a little bit easier for me. So I wasn't running back and forth between my master closet and this one when filming and when styling outfits, I wanted to have everything in one place. So Hannah from The Home Refreshment, she reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to organize my closet. And so of course, I jumped at the opportunity because like I said, it's not my forte and I needed help desperately, especially after the holidays. Um, so she came in and helped me organize and figure out what I wanted to donate, what I wanted to sell. I have a few things that I wanted to put up on Poshmark, but I didn't really know how. I didn't really know how to start. Um, and then also how to get organized and make it a little bit easier to navigate. So I wanted to share this process with you guys. I thought that this would be fun. If you guys are local in Florida, but even if you're not, she offers Skype sessions. So I will link her down below. You should definitely go and follow her on Instagram because she's always giving really great organizational tips. So yeah, the first thing that she did when she came over is we removed everything from the closet and put it in the living room. Now, I will say before we moved to Florida a couple of years ago from South Carolina, I got rid of probably 75% of my wardrobe. I knew that I wanted to start fresh. Now that I'm in my 30s, I'm really looking to invest in pieces that I can wear season after season, year after year. So I knew that I didn't really want to hold on to a lot of the things that I had before moving here and it just was an easier moving process for me not to have as much. But because of what I do, I have accumulated some things so I wanted to go through, see what I could donate, see what I would wear again this season. And I do that every season. I go through everything and decide what do I need, what do I wanna keep, what do I want to donate. So after we were done going through all of the clothing, she decided what she needed to go pick up from the container store and different various things that we could use to help organize. So I wanted to show you what the end result looks like and kind of walk you through that process. So before I take you guys into my closet, I wanted to show you what's behind me because this counts as my closet too. I store a lot of my clothes back here. Um, I use this for the background of most of my videos. You guys are probably very familiar with seeing this. Um, and I like to keep this styled for video so I don't like to put a lot of dark colors on here because it just sucks in all the light when you're filming. So I like to keep it nice and bright which works perfectly because these are the typical colors that I like to wear a lot. Um, and then when I'm getting ready for a photo shoot, I'll put those outfits here and style them on this rack too. So these two on the end, I'm getting ready to go and shoot, so that's why they're out here. And then on the bottom, I just have this Eco Tools box. This is what their holiday collection brushes came in, and I thought it was such a pretty box, so I kept it. And then over here is a bookshelf from Ikea, and this is where I keep all of the shoes that I'm wearing a lot. So I have my espadrilles up here that I wear a ton. I also have these really cute Sam Edelman shoes. They have this heel that I love. I got these last year and I got them on sale. I don't know if they came out with them again this year, but I'll check for you guys. And if they are, I'll link them down below. And then on this row, I have my espadrilles. These are some of my favorites. They're very, very tall, which I love. And then down here, I have some of my blue and white pumps. I have my favorite, my new favorite slides that I showed in my video. You guys love these too. And then down here, I have some nude pumps, my nude sandals, mules, booties, and strappy heels. And then here are the ones on the bottom. I don't wear these two as much because I don't wear a ton of black. These were more of my fall, um, but I just kept them out just in case because I do like to wear leopards sometimes in the spring. And then this space you guys are definitely familiar with. I do all of my outfits in this mirror for my videos. So this is a floor length mirror I got from Wayfair. I will link it down below for you guys. Right now I'm wearing my Goodnight Macaroon um, tweed dress that I love. 
And then I have this faux fur rug. This is from Home Goods. This is from Wayfair. I'll link one down below. I think I can find the exact one for you guys. Still, this is from Target. It's just, I really liked what this said, um, but my mom gave that to me. And then I have these two, which I think that these were from, or no, I know that these were from Erin Condren, but I don't think that they're available anymore. But if I can find them, I will link them down below for you guys. project I'm actually standing in the floor I have room to stand as opposed to before there was stuff everywhere one of the first things that Hannah asked me was how I get dressed so she wanted to know if I wanted all of my tank tops together and then shirts and then sweaters and blazers or did I want things more color coordinated and because I'm using this for the pieces that I like to film a lot and I typically work off of a color scheme I wanted them color coordinated also I think it's just more visually appealing for me so that is the way we set everything up we switched out all of my hangers to be facing the right way so that each top is facing forward originally we had all of my tops on this color of hanger but I have mixed in a few pink because I have more pink hangers so it was a little bit difficult to keep that up but I tried Hannah if you're watching this I tried um, so yeah I'll show you guys I have all of my pants here so I have like my seersucker pants my new lavender pants that I showed you guys recently and then you get into my white top so I have some tank tops I have some t-shirts blouses and then into my cardigan sweater I have a little bit of yellow I think I only have one yellow top in here and it's a t-shirt I have all of my blue tops lots of blue tops this was a one that I just recently got from the shop bop sale look at the sleeves isn't it so pretty if you saw my blog post, you probably saw me talk about that. So that was on my wish list. And then I have some nude blush into pink, red, some gray. And then back here is where all of my winter coats go. So I have my wool coat. I have some fleece pullovers. I have some more textured blazers, more fall blazers. And then I have my trench, my raincoat, my moto jacket. I have this denim jacket that I wear all the time. And then from there, I have all of my skirts. So I have my skirts color coordinated as well. I started with black, went into a darker color. Then I have my blue, my blue and white, some blush, this pleated skirt that I got from H&M recently. This is an old one from Zara that I love and cannot wait to wear again. And then from my skirts, I have all of my dresses on here. So most of my white dresses are out hanging on the um, rack outside for filming. So I only have a couple in here. I have this one from Red Dress. I have this Lily dress here. And then I have a few red ones, some of my blue dresses. I just recently got some of these Lily Pulitzer dresses from the after party sale. And I'm still waiting to go and get them altered because they're a little bit too long. Then we have all of my pink dresses. This beautiful Gal Meets Glam dress that I wore in the fall. I love that so much. This is a dress that I'm looking forward to wearing again. I got this last year from Draper James. I haven't had a chance to wear it this year, but this was my Easter dress last year. Up on top, we have three baskets. So this one has swimsuits. The one in the middle has all of my smaller handbags and clutches. And then this one in the back has winter weather scarves and hats and gloves and things like that that I don't need very often. Then over on the top shelf here, I have some handbags. So this Jay McLaughlin wicker bag that's kind of bulky and hard to put away. I have these newer ones that I recently got. I showed you guys in a video. And then in this box, I have notebooks and keepsakes, things that I wanted to keep flat, so papers and things like that. And then over here are these plastic bins that I got from the container store. So I put all of my sweaters in here. I don't like to fold my sweaters, so I keep them folded, or I don't like to hang them because it stretches them out. So I keep them all folded in these. And I love how you can see them really easily. It keeps them protected from dust. 
And then on the very top, I have Mickey's carry bag that I use when I go places. On top of my Alex and I drawers, I put my jewelry. So these are things that I grab um, more frequently. I have some studs and things like that up here. These are necklaces that I don't wear as often, but I just keep them hanging up back here. These are, I keep all of my fragrances in my bedroom, but I just have a few sample fragrances or those little sample sizes inside of here. I also have this jewelry organizer where I keep all of my earrings and watches. And then in this drawer, I have different um, PR packages. I just like to unbox them and put them inside of here so I don't forget. I have more sunglasses, some tape and different things. I have some overflow makeup in this drawer. In this drawer, I have makeup brushes and nail files, things like that. In this drawer, I have all of my undershirts and spanks and slips. In this drawer, I keep all of my sports bras and tank tops, all of my activewear. Here's all of my leggings and shorts. And then in the very bottom drawer, I have all of my um, ears for when we go to Disney. So now that we're in the floor, I have two of these shelves that I got. Well, I actually got three from Target. So this one is just one, and then this is two stacked on top of each other. And Hannah got these boxes from the container store for me to use for all of my shoes. And so I like them because they're clear. You can see everything. It also keeps them clean and free of dust. So I put all of my shoes in there. I have a couple of um, pairs of boots inside of these. These are larger for my over-the-knee boots and more bulky um, items and then I have my hunters back here and then I put just flats and tennis shoes on the bottom and then in this one I put these baskets with my silk scarves I also have some belts in this one and then in here I have just random dust bags some labels that I didn't use and then in this basket I just have a lot of travel bags zip up pouches and things like that and then on the back of the closet door, Hannah got this um, hook from the container store. So it has all of these hooks on it. She put my hats, my caps, and then all of my larger tote bags. So there you have it. That is my closet organization. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you're not subscribed and you like fashion and styling tips like this, then please be sure to subscribe and you can click on that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to keep up with me between uploads, I'll have my Instagram and my blog linked down below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.